Hey guys, welcome to our channel. It's M and Lloyd. And today we're doing something a little different for you guys. As some of you may know, I'm a disputes lawyer and Lloyd is a transactions lawyer, and we both work at international law firms in Hong Kong. For the last year and a half or so, I've mostly still been working in the office while Lloyd has mostly been working from home, so we thought it might be helpful to show you guys what each of our respective routines look like each week together with the kind of work that we do. Given that our day-to-day -day can vary quite a lot, we've opted to show you guys a week in our lives instead of a day in our lives. I'm up first, so keep watching if you'd like to see what a usual week working as a disputes lawyer in the office looks like for me. Spoiler alert, it doesn't look like this. We move forward with the suit, lose-lose. We can give you your money back, plus the 500000 or you and I can play poker for it. And I'm not giving you your money back. Morning guys, it's currently a little after 8 a.m. on Monday. Lloyd and I usually get up at about 7.45 a.m. on weekdays, which gives me about an hour and a half before I have to get into the office. I usually go to the gym on both Saturday and Sunday, so I generally won't go on Monday mornings. This morning, I'm going to make both of us coffee at home as opposed to buying it out, which we do about half of the time, and I take mine into the office with me in a tumbler since I don't drink coffee right away after waking up. If possible, I try not to rush on Monday mornings since it kind of sets the tone for the week, although I will always have a quick glance at my work emails in the morning just to check if there's anything urgent that needs to be taken care of. Fortunately, there wasn't anything this morning, so after making coffee and getting ready, I packed my coffee, water bottle, and meal prep into a bag to take with me to the office. I usually get into the office between 9 and 9.30 a.m., which is pretty standard for law firms in Hong Kong, although it really comes down to the particular team that you work for. I'm a mid-level associate in the Projects Engineering and Construction team at a top-tier international law firm and mainly do arbitration and litigation work. I'll also do non-contentious work sometimes, which means work which doesn't relate to disputes, like preparing contracts for clients. Welcome. I'm currently working on a few active arbitrations, and as a mid-level associate, I'm the one keeping track of upcoming filing deadlines and items that need to be actioned for those cases. On most Monday mornings, the supervising partner for the arbitrations I'm working on will ask to touch base with me and my colleagues who are also working on those arbitrations. As I'm the one who generally runs through all items that need to be actioned for those cases in these touch base meetings, I check that my running list of these items is up to date and see whether anything came in over the weekend that needs to be added. I'll also consider if any of these items require me to propose next steps to the supervising partner for him to think about. This week, we don't have any major deadlines, but we do have deadlines to serve factual witness statements for two different arbitrations the following Tuesday and Friday. We've already been working on the draft witness statements for a few weeks and circulating drafts to the clients for the review and input, so our main goal this week is to finalize the draft witness statements as much as possible. One of the clients sent over their comments and some new information for the witness statement over the weekend, so I spent most of today working those into a running draft for the supervising partner to review later. I usually eat lunch at about 1pm, and for lunch today, I've got some slow-cooked beef brisket and roasted broccoli and bell peppers. Lloyd cooked the brisket yesterday, since Sunday is usually the day that we meal prep. Here's also a couple shots of him cutting into the cooked brisket for your viewing enjoyment. After I eat, depending on how busy I am, I'll step out for a 15-20 to 20 minute walk and if the weather's nice, I'll head out to Hong Kong Park, which is next door to where I work. I spend most of the rest of the afternoon revising the witness statement, since I want to try to update this draft before we get comments from our other client on the other witness statements due next week. In the meantime, we do get a few letters coming in from the opposing lawyers for these arbitrations, but they don't need to be dealt with immediately aside from reporting them to our clients. So, I finish at work shortly after 8pm and head home to have dinner since Lloyd's cooking up a few steaks that we got from a butcher tonight. Sometimes I also go for a quick grocery run in the evenings to pick up anything we need, which was just some tea today. 
On Tuesday morning, Lloyd and I both get up a tad earlier and start the day with a quick full body workout at our gym, which is just a five minute walk from our home. After that, as a reward, I pick up coffee for the both of us at a neighborhood coffee shop, followed by taking a cold shower. I get into the office at around 9.20 a.m. and do a quick review of the amendments I made to the witness statement that I was revising yesterday before sending the draft to the supervising partner for his review. If time allows, I find it helpful to look at documents I've been drafting for long periods of time with a fresh eye since sometimes I'll think of new points or find mistakes. Afterwards, I start drafting letters replying to the letters we received from opposing lawyers yesterday afternoon. In the meantime, comments come in from the client for the other witness statements due next week, so I take a quick look at the comments they made first just to see if we have everything we need for this round of amendments. I actually noticed that the client missed a couple of questions we had asked them, so I gave them a call to let them know and politely asked them to answer those questions as soon as they could while we start amending the draft witness statement. Lunch today is something a little different. We had some leftover grass-fed burger patties and pesto chicken in the fridge, which was from food delivery over the weekend, so I had that so it didn't go to waste. I basically spend the rest of the day amending the witness statement we just got comments for since I want to finish revising it before the supervising partner comes back on the other witness statement I sent him that morning. I also worked until about 8pm that evening, then went home for dinner. Since we were out of meal prep vegetables at this point, I made another batch but changed them up a bit as well as seasoned them differently. Hey guys, it's Wednesday morning. The weather is actually pretty nice today, which means not boiling by Hong Kong standards. So I'm gonna go out for a short walk and get some sun before I go into the office. Otherwise, it was just rinse and repeat. If you can't tell at this point, being a lawyer entails a lot of sitting, reading, and typing. This day though was definitely a bit more on the busy end because we got the outstanding information from the client I called yesterday so I quickly tried to work that into the witness statement. At the same time, my supervising partner came back with his comments on the other witness statement I was working on. We also received a number of newly disclosed documents from the opposing lawyers for one of our arbitrations. Since we had requested that these documents be disclosed as part of a process called discovery, I also had to review the documents and see if they were what we had asked for. Although my butt was basically glued to my desk chair the entire day, after having lunch, I still went for a quick walk in Hong Kong Park to stretch my legs before I got back to work. I left the office at around 8.30pm this day to have dinner at home before I continued working. Since both Lloyd and I were quite busy with work and were also craving something spicy for dinner, we ordered Sichuan takeout from a neighborhood spot for dinner. After that, I continued working until about 11.30pm at home. Thursday was another very full-on day as we wanted to get the final draft of the witness statement due next Tuesday out to the client so they had Friday and the weekend to review. I managed to get the final draft out to the client by late morning and moved on to going through the documents that the opposing lawyers had just disclosed for the other arbitration. That took most of the rest of the day since there were about 40 new documents and I had to go through and consider each one. When reviewing the documents, I did notice that some categories of documents we had asked for seemed to be missing, so I set out what was missing and why I thought so in the form of a draft email to the client for the supervising partner to review. Today, I opted to order delivery for dinner and eat it in the office while working since I wanted to go to the gym later and digest my food in time for my workout. I kept dinner light but filling by going for a Caesar salad with a whole avocado and shredded chicken and gravy to avoid any kind of food coma which would slow down my work. I wrapped up work at around 9pm and went to the gym afterwards for a little under an hour. I used to like working out pretty late, but now I try not to finish my workouts anytime after 10.30pm because I notice that actually disturbs the quality of my sleep. Oh. 
As always, thank God it's Friday. I started the day with another homemade coffee, but made by Lloyd this time. Friday was basically a lot of pushing to finalize the other draft witness statement due next Friday and trying to send it out to the client before the weekend. There were a few factual issues where it was more efficient to call the client and iron everything out on the spot instead of emailing back and forth, so I spent most of my morning on calls with the client and working their comments into the draft witness statement. After that, I started working on quite a long draft letter to the arbitrator for one of my cases. By way of explanation, the arbitrator is the person or body appointed to settle the dispute between the parties. As I mentioned yesterday, there were some documents missing from those disclosed by the opposing lawyers, so this letter was basically to raise this problem with the arbitrator and request that he order the other side to disclose the missing documents. I worked on this and a few other small tasks until the evening. Around 7.30pm, I actually received an email from the client with his comments on the witness statement I had sent out yesterday, which was faster than we had expected. Since I had until Monday morning to work in the comments and I was planning to go home for dinner and to bake a chocolate cake that evening, I left work shortly after 8 p.m. Lloyd and I were having a friend over for dinner on Saturday night and we were going to be out and about during the day on Saturday as well, so the only time I really had to bake the cake was on Friday night. There wasn't any particular special occasion, but I love to make desserts whenever I get the chance to. Our friend absolutely loves chocolate, so I decided to make a layered chocolate cake, which Lloyd planned to make homemade chocolate ice cream to go with. Since there would just be three of us eating the cake, I only baked one layer for cutting in half to make half of a double layered cake. I kept the rest of my Friday evening pretty chill and watched some YouTube and did a charcoal face mask while my cake cooled. Obviously, I had to sample a little slice or two of my own cake, which Lloyd walked into the middle of. After that, we called it a night at around midnight. Since Lloyd and I both like keeping our Sundays pretty free, we typically keep our Saturdays pretty busy, whether it's with appointments, errands, social events, or classes like painting or jujitsu. As a result, we don't usually get up much later on Saturdays than we do on weekdays. I start my day by going for a run at my gym first thing in the morning, and then I ran a few errands including buying some household supplies we needed while Lloyd began prepping food for a dinner at home. After that, we went to a local dim sum spot for lunch which I've been going to since I was in university and which still has, in my opinion, the best salted egg custard buns in Hong Kong. We spent the afternoon hanging out with a friend, and before Lloyd started cooking dinner, I made the frosting for my cake, after which I mostly evacuated the kitchen because Lloyd started stir-frying dishes for dinner in a wok, and our kitchen gets pretty hot and smoky since it's not very big. Unfortunately, I completely forgot to get a shot of our dinner spread, but I did get ones of Lloyd making ice cream and of the finished chocolate cake. Hey guys, it's Sunday morning and now it's uh, almost 9 a.m. We generally like to keep our Sundays a little more quiet and just spend the mornings at home. One of us will usually make coffee to start the day, and this morning, I got straight to work and revised the witness statement due on Tuesday to work in the comments the client gave us on Friday night. In the meantime, Lloyd cooked the protein for a meal prep next week, which was roast beef. I ended up finishing revising the witness statement at around 2pm which was a bit quicker than I had expected. 
After that, I moved on to working on YouTube video ideas and filming some cutaway footage or b-roll for our YouTube videos. At around 4pm, I went for a personal training session at my gym with my trainer, which is something I try to make time for every weekend and also something I really enjoy. Today was an upper body day with a focus on back, which is my favorite, and after my session, I took some time to stretch and foam roll for about half an hour. After that, Lloyd and I did a little snack shopping to replenish some of our favorite snacks and I took it easy for the rest of the day. Unless one of us has to work or we have social obligations that can't be scheduled for another time, Lloyd and I are very deliberate about blocking off Sunday evenings to hang out and relax, whether it's going out for dinner or staying in to watch a movie. We noticed that if we don't do this, it's easy to go a few weeks without spending quality time together, especially when work gets even busier for the both of us. We decide to call it a night at around 11pm and read for a bit before going to sleep, which for me is finishing up the picture of Dorian Gray. Thanks a lot for watching guys. If you like this video, please hit that like button below and consider subscribing. And if you have any thoughts on what you'd like to see in relation to my routine or Lloyd's routine, let us know in the comments.